So this is our uh, radio room, uh, an exp expansion of the radio room for testing the uh, 5G testing and also ongoing uh, 4G LTE testing here. So here you'll see everything we replicate a cell site. So you'll see uh, instead of the antennas, a Faraday cage where we have controlled RF environment. And then we have here the radios from different vendors and different lineups so that we can replicate what's going on in the cell sites. And um, these are part of the DAS elements we have, and then we have a lot of DAS elements, which is called distributed antenna system, right? So that will show you that how we are testing here, our um, small cells, our DAS, our macro network, our micro network, and Wi-Fi. So all kind of uh, radio interface you have for customers, we can replicate here and in a controlled environment. And I'll show you how we can actually isolate all the outside interference and have a perfect RF. Come on here. We want to isolate all the outside RF inside this so that we can make sure what we are testing is purely at and And then we make sure everything is good in our end. Then we can introduce interference, outside interference, to see actual how actually the outside is affecting us, right? And then we have, an, we have a tool which is very unique that you can actually capture outside RF anywhere, say New York downtown, and play here. So your phone will see that you are in a New York downtown. And then I can replicate that you are driving 100 miles in a car, in a phone, how the phone will react, I can see that here inside the room. So all those DAS systems are transmitting inside and this is another type of Faraday cage, which is shielded, right? And it's the same purpose, shielding outside world, right? But here you'll see a lot of DAS antennas, uh, different kind of DAS antennas we use our network. So you might be seeing this in conference centers, right? So what they do, they take the radio, instead of in one place, it's distribute the whole building, right? Whole, whole arena. So. So we distribute our capacity throughout the area. Right? These are our lab for testing the small cells and uh, femtocells, right? So you'll see the small cells here. These are, these are placed in a strategic location to offload our micro network, right? This also we test here. So we can actually carry traffic from the radio, right, in this controlled environment, go through this. And we can actually hand over from here to our micro and macro as if you are doing handover outside. So, so far you are only seeing the cell sites, right? And So with this tool, we make sure what kind of RF we are seeing, right? You can see RF, but with this tool, we can see that, right? And we make sure it's our RF, right? We different frequencies, 700, 2100, 850, 1900. So we make sure that band is transmitting here, right? So we have a RF matrix switch and RF, um, RF call generator in the other room. So we can switch any RF in this room. Think about it, I want 3G here, I put 3G in the RF switch. I want 4G, I put 4G. But now you are going from a location which has 3G to 4G. I put two antennas put in this room, which has both 3G and 4G. And I, sh I attenuate, right, one. So as if you are going out of the home or outside of your 3G location, you hand over 4G, 4G to 3G. We can all simulate that, right? 5G, different frequency band, right? So with that, we, we introduced this new technique. We call it, it's very new actually. It's last month we set this up. We call it Octobox. Right? And the idea is you have a home wireless router, right? And I have to simulate you are in a home making calls and you don't know your phone is going through Wi-Fi, right? The actual voice call. You go out of, you don't know, you hand over to a LT site, right? So I have to replicate that here. So this isolates the same thing, the Faraday cage, but very small. 
and we have all the remote attenuators so you can attenuate the signal you can make it boost all the remote connectivity is here with, with the internet right so i put a, a router here i put a mobile experience right a tab or laptop or whatever inside i log in i browse right and then i i attenuate i shut down the wi-fi i pick a, i boost up here of my lte the phone will see you are going out of home, right? So you do handover, and when you do handover, a lot of things has to go in the core. We monitor, like everything is perfect or not, right? And then we load this one a lot, right? So see that, you know, handover happening good, like what's happening in a big conference happening, right? With a lot of load, why handover is not happening? If processor is too high, maybe it's deciding, should I handover or not, right? So all this, we can see it here. 